Okay, so I got one of the rusty uh, brake cylinders, wheel cylinders out, and I thought I would uh, record a little so you could see what it looks like. I've um, taken the uh, adjusting nut off. I don't know if, if you remember seeing them, but that's what they looked like before. And here's the main cylinder, and you can see lots of rust inside and rust in this post. And that's actually um, the fixed end. I think I told you wrong in an earlier video. Anyway, that rust is why it's not adjusting. So I think I can just clean this up and um, get it to work again. So here's one of the eight whale cylinders. I've um, cleaned almost all the rust out of it. It's looking pretty good. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it together here with the video running. I'm doing this to figure out which side the adjuster goes on. And maybe to slow down the process of rust forming again, I'm going to use some uh, caliper grease on the out. This is a piston. This piston is outside the cup, so it's not in the brake fluid. And I'm hoping that if I grease it up, maybe it'll take longer to get rusty than last time. So. I don't really have any idea how long it, it's been together. It could be this is 50 years worth of grease, um, 50 years worth of rust. It doesn't look right. That's upside down. Hmm. That doesn't look right either. Yep, that was right.
I did have it upside down. There we go. That looks better. Okay, so it's ready to go back. Well, almost ready to go back on the car. Right rear front wheel cylinder. It took a little while, but I did get this old wheel cylinder apart, get the rust out of it. The uh, rubber cups inside are in really good shape. The cylinder walls in really good shape. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and use it as is. I think it's going to be fine. Uh, to, uh, maybe try and keep rust from forming so quickly in the future. I put some um, caliper grease on the on the metal parts. Also, um, I discovered that both of these pistons are operable. They both move in and out and I was surprised. I thought one of them was fixed. But actually both of them both of them move. So it's um, a very strange set of brakes where these two wheel cylinders sit on opposite sides of each other and push against one another when, when you operate the brakes. But anyway, everything's cleaned up. I'm going to put this one back. I got this this one here is the front one off the back, and I still got it to work on. Um, but there you go. So the wheel cylinder we just uh, assembled. We'll go ahead and put it on the vehicle here on the old Land Cruiser. And... Uh, Front one, the adjuster is going to go on the top. I've cleaned all of the gunk off all the threads, so everything's all ready to go here.
Okay. So the wheels and wonders are on. I gotta um, still put the brake shoes on. They're not quite ready to go. And then um, the brake lines that go behind here. Um, let me go get those parts. I'll be right back. The way this, uh, the way this is going to work is there's a kind of a funny banjo nut here that has a extra brake fitting on the back. It goes like that. And then a more regular banjo nut. I wonder if you saw that first one. I might have to do this again. And that goes back here to tie those two together. And then a brake line will go from here back to the T that splits off the left and right brakes. I'm going to replace this brake line here with some new, got some um, of the new uh, copper nickel brake lines, which are supposed to be easier to work with and more rust resistant. And hopefully that will be in the next video here. And um, I wonder how much that was actually on camera. <laughs>